Hi everyone, it's me Joanne and today I have a project to share with you all and it's this shadow box you're looking at. Um, I am submitting this for the May I Am Roses color challenge. Their challenge is to incorporate the color purple and teal into your pro or teal into your project. Um, so I've decided to use both colors and purple as you all probably know already that it is my favorite color so it wasn't so much of a challenge for me and as well as um, it has to be a Mother's Day theme um, but we all know it's already past Mother's Day but um, we've recently taken pictures in Hawaii my maternity pictures and I thought I'd showcase them so that's what you're looking at right now the pictures were actually colored um, and I decided to change it into sepia um, and so we'll get started on that and move it a little bit closer. So I've used a 7 Gypsies printer's tray or shadow box in a 6 4 by 6 sizes and um, I'll lay it down so I can explain it better and then post some pictures at the end. So what I've used um, for the background pattern paper, I've used this King Company uh, Suzanne Wing It and it's, um, my camera can't pick that up, but it's called Botanical Paper. I've had this in my stash for a long time and I thought it would be perfect because it has the color purple and teal and green and it is um, florally so perfect for any Mother's Day type of um, project and I've also used the die cut mat pad and then the embellishment to go with that so with this it wasn't so much of a challenge because I love playing with the color purple and like you all already know you all already know um, it is my favorite color <laughs> So um, I'll get to that right now. So on this side right here, there's three pictures that I put in. This is a picture of me and my daughter, and she's either talking or um, looking at my belly. <laughs> and then there's another picture of me and my daughter at the beach. And there's another picture of myself right there by the beach as well. Just looking at my belly and I wish they were colored because they're a lot beautiful with the color picture but I thought I'd go with um with the sepia color to make everything match or flow so use it with this box right here I used the pattern paper to line it and then I used um, a prima metal embellishment and then I just added a Prima butterfly on there as well and this is a trim from my from my stash which I glimmer misted with Bahama blue and then on the middle right here as you can see I put in motherhood in from the alpha set by Prima in canvas and then I glimmer misted that with purple pansy and then on here I matted my picture with the pattern paper and I used the I am Rose but I am Rose's rosebud which um, I do have here and it's this one right here it's it's the number is T2 T26-151 and um, I used the medium I think this is the medium size or the large size I think it's the large size or sorry medium size and then I use the smaller size which is the T30-151 and then um, I use the green leaves the small green leaves right here which is Z9L0-1 and then for the center of this sort of like a wreath type um it's by um vintage vogue by paisley pink paisley so that's pretty much it for that one 
I kept, I, I kept a lot of these spaces a little bit more simple just because I plan to um, hang this on the wall in our living room or in the baby's room. And then on this side, I used my Cheerlean French pastry doily, which I die cut from the pattern paper, and then a recollection flower, and then some more I am roses here flower and it's the little one right here I believe R8-15 I believe it's in a pack of 100 or 50 and then I glimmer, glimmer misted this with Bahama blue as well and then this one as well is the small rosebud which I glimmer misted with purple pansy and then another small rose right there which I also glimmer misted and then on this side right here sorry I'm gonna put it down so you guys can see sorry for the shakiness okay. and then on this side I just uh, line line the background with um, Prima uh, lace which is already colored or missed um, dyed and then I put uh, a Michael spray on here and then on this side I use another here let me there you go that's much better I used another um, small I am rose roses flower there which I glimmer misted and then this is another one um, I don't have the style number but it's this one right here at this this is how much I have left and then this one is one of those big um, or medium sized flower it's in a colored pack like this and I've used this purple one right here and it's R21-627 and so that's what I use there and then there's another small one there and then I've used um, a cabochon by Prima in purple green and another purple there. So that's that for that one. I'm going to set it down a little bit. And then on this side, <laughs> I just can't set it down. <laughs> um, kept it very simple. I just um, die, or sorry, fuzzy cut um, a sticker from the Bow Buddy collection. I forget what which collection it is, but it says motherhood can sometimes be moments of pain, but it's a lifetime of joy. And so I think it um, reflects really well with my situation right now because I'm in my, I'm at the end of my pregnancy. So anytime I could be in labor and um, yeah. So I used another um, cabochon right here and then a small butterfly from the same paper collection. And then down here I used the Prima Metal um, embellishment again, which I put some small pearls to use as the door knob or gate knob. And then on this side, another picture of me and my daughter. I kept it very simple. I just used my Martha Stewart um, punch around the page to punch the sides and then um, um, mini flat back pearl trim from my stash and another butterfly from the same paper collection and then another one here. So that's pretty much it for this project and I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think or if it's worth submitting. I'm very nervous about it. But um, I really like how it turned out because it's definitely me with the whole purple color. And um, I can't wait to actually show my husband. 